Welcome back to Fairytale Dungeons. I think it's time to keep grinding for some uh, really OP decks, and then eventually we'll jump into Grand Clash. I had to unlock this um, outside of a video because I canceled my Nether Palace run <laughs> in that one video. So yeah, we did not get to unlock the Grand Clash. I had to actually complete like or die in the run instead of fleeing. I didn't really know what was going to happen when I fleed, so I just wanted to test that out. Didn't count. Didn't give me any XP, unfortunately. But we're going to head back into just regular Labyrinth here. Difficulty 3. Lucy time. I'm going to start... Um, yeah, I'm going to try out her new chain, which is the Scorpio, Star Scorpio Starter. Should be pretty good. And then... So that's a dodge build. So now we want... I don't think there's anything I'm going to replace. I mean... I guess why would I not replace a kick with the better card? Gives me some crit chance as well. Hmm. I think I want to keep the block, so we're gonna... Ooh, this is... Wait, this is a... Key to the Ram Palace. Okay, that's a little bit... Better. Eh, I'll probably still replace and then we'll go like extra Lacrima or Fuel. I think both are really important. Or maybe I could just forego this, but then I have to remove... Hmm. No. Alright, we'll do... Do I have 30% Lacrima? I do. Hmm. Uh, I feel like I also want, like, buffs as well, because it could be somewhat problematic. Maybe I just... I think I have to start with the buff, the... 4, four damage buff. Yeah, 4 attack. So actually, I probably... Probably can't start with this. Let's just go... Let's go Fuel. I think the Fuel might help me find a campfire hopefully and then that will trans will translate into removing a lucy punch i don't know let's try it pretty okay route i think maybe go go this way no i, I should take fights oh no i shouldn't take fights i think we're depending on how strong we are but i feel like we're going to be pretty weak with lucy early yeah nine lacrim is a good start tree Damn, of course it's the freaking Ram Palace key that I could have gotten for free. Or not for free, but... Oh well. They're like, absolutely terrible tree here. I need a Maze Fruit. Really dreadful. Oh, this is a hard starter fight. What the... Plus 10 Scorpio key? Okay. That is relatively strong. Just gonna roll for it. Nope. Can't kill. I guess I could kill this at the cost of. Yeah, I probably should. I don't think this attacks next turn. Hold up, this this adds what like four or five block, seventeen. Oh no, it doesn't work. Oh, it does. Sixteen, yeah. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll just kill it. I mean, we have some dodge chance. Who knows? Twenty-five percent could happen. Miracle. Nope. Oh, Lucy has healing. That's what I... I, I do like Lucy. Uh, Lucy's starter deck. The healing is so clutch. And you can see how important that 4 attack buff is. For the early game specifically. I think it's almost mandatory unless you want to struggle super heavily. I will probably take that. It's acceptable. Plus 2 attack buff is good. I'm trying to build a dodge deck though. Possible. There is a maze fruit. Let's go. Get that shit out of here. Yep, start a battle, three attacks, not bad. Yeah, that's about it. So not much better. Ram Palace. Yeah, of course I get offered both of them. Okay. But again, we're on a dodge build here, and this is a pretty good card. Three turn 20% dodge. And again, we have the extra lantern fuel as well, so we could probably go go pretty far here. Gonna start things off by removing. And yeah, this route is just better, so I'm gonna go for it. I can take normal fights. We are pretty strong. Both attacking on turn one. Great. Fantastic. Odds of me getting a bigger heal than this? Probably relatively high. Oh, I should have just killed that. <laughs> Whoops. Took okay, two extra damage there. 
My bad. I was thinking I would just one shot this and then I don't know. Slipped my mind there. Booster max HP. Okay, both are not attacking. Two attack up. I could just do this. Save the key. Oh no, wait, I could just do. Yeah, that's good. Man, playing with and without the the four four attack boost for four turns is a world of difference. It's crazy. It feels so much easier to play with it. I think it's like almost mandatory on most characters. So we have a smooth early game. Crit boost. There's another dodge. Hmm. I mean, that is the build, right? But it's kind of the wrong build because we want specifically Scorpio. <laughs> Hmm. I'd probably still take it. Unless I want one copy of an AoE, which is most likely the case, actually, that I do want one copy of an AoE. So I'm going to do it. It's not the best one, but it's acceptable. Now we have the three attack up again. Crustacean Palace. Users buff effects. Amazing. Now this is going to be a really good run if I keep this up. There we go, the AoE kicking in here perfectly. The two kills. Wow, that was so clutch. Take zero. Get the heal off this turn. Fortunately, it's just a four heal. Good enough, though. Any amount of healing is good here. There is a potential chain. 60% chance to stun... If support action is taken. It feels kind of risky to take it, though, when I don't have a guarantee of finding the chain. Probably going to skip. And I like that we get double campfire thanks to the lantern fuel, so this is very clutch. And again. Oh. Oh, no, I get the extra attack. That's really clutch. Holy shit. Yeah, so it does kill. Find a crit, so... Nice. This is extra normal attack, right? Yeah. Very good. Clean fight. And second campfire to remove a... No, actually, I'm not going to remove a card. Because I want to stay on 12. So, is it an enchantment, potentially? I do feel like enchantments are slightly more valuable, but... Talking to Lavi is just so crazy. They either need to buff the enchantments again or nerf Labby. Yeah, like this this is absurd. Like the trade is crazy. What do we want? A three defense down. So I either take the crit boost, which is always solid damage increase. Or take the prayer, but uh eh. oh, I'll take the damage. That way I get to replace the normal attack. With a an attack, so it's pure benefit. Yeah, that, that extra lantern feels massive. Decent turn one. Just a bunch of crit boosts. Why not? Take the 19. A little bit of healing. Taurus, uh, or Scorpio combo still in, in play, right? Yep. I could keep the healing for next turn, but no, I'm gonna chain raid. Well, hmm. No, I should do it. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I do go for damage. It's hard to tell. Like if it, if the damage is the difference between me killing it a turn earlier and not, then it is worth going for the damage because that will save me more HP than the heal. But I do want to stall this out, so this is actually perfect. Just heal now. And then go for the chain next turn. And hopefully I win afterwards. Yep. Good. Very happy about that. Very strong start. Very, very strong start. Still need to find... Ideally you want two magic chains in your deck. 
whether that be two copies of your main chain or a different chain. Just for the unison buff, now that I know what it does. Purple door, yep. Sounds great. Yeah, so I want another copy of Scorpio key and stuff, or maybe this, but like, I don't know. Feels kind of risky. All right, this time I can probably just remove. Whoa. Okay. Uh. Uh, what's the best? So there's double campfire. Uh, yeah, double campfire is too tempting. I think that's the priority. You always look at campfires first, I think. Hold up. 13. Okay, so that's not going to kill this, actually, so... Huh. Wait. I guess I just can't kill that. So we're actually going to go for... Unless it crits, but it's too risky. I just killed the two other ones. I mean, they are technically doing more damage than, than this, so... 228 HP is a little bit too high. Another crit chance up. 25. Hmm. Again, I don't want to... I mean, I do want to aim for 15, but... This crit boost is not bad. It will get extended as well. But we're going to see a lot of cards here, so... I don't know. Then again, crit is the best way to amplify your damage, I think. Or, I don't know, is it better than raw attack? Like, two attack up? I think it's worse than crit boost. Could be wrong. I'm not going to take it. Ability, please? No, okay. So that is not something I necessarily want. Unless... I mean, it is against 5 Lacrima. That's not that good. I'll take it. You never know. Maybe my, my next node is bad, right? And then I can just full reroll. Okay, one more removal. Probably not. Probably not on this one. It's probably still this. Yeah, that's actually not terrible. It's actually not terrible. This should be good. Huh. Yeah, I can just kill the... Usually, I think this one buffs defense, so it actually won't do anything. Very easy elite fight. This is definitely the easiest elite fight that is in the game, I think. Just goblins. Okay, here's an increased one. So a buffed up Virgo form. Enchanted. Just 10% chance to crit. Hmm. I don't hate it. Redrawing is very powerful in this game, especially if it's an extended buff. I don't hate it. I think it's borderline. Again, like, this is not really what I want, but it's not bad, but it's not really what I want. Also, I don't hate the idea of having, like, one key to the line in case uh, there's a really clutch situation or that 40% chance to, to stun is uh, relevant. Hmm. I might take it. Trip. Oh shit, oh that's so bad. I needed that 13 lacrima no matter what this is. Yeah, that's not even close. Holy shit. So bad. They should remove that event, I feel. Eh, actually I don't know. 
Maybe it's fine. Wow, the fact that I can't kill here is terrifying. So I have to all in. I'm gonna take so much damage. It's okay. We got healing. Too much uh, HP on, on the mobs. Redraw costs. Yeah, whatever. I need to keep uh, at least one basic attack on the deck, I think. I could probably remove the block from this deck. Usually I don't remove it because it's pretty useful, but... Oh, that's armored. Damn. Please dodge. Nice. I can't imagine playing without the attack buff. Alright, we're not taking that. And this is such a shame. I, I feel like we're close to a good value. I just need like one more magic chain. And I can't find the right cards. Yeah, it's probably a remove block situation. Although we don't have that much dodge right now. But we do have a stun chance as well. But I also really want more Lacrima, so this might be correct. Replace. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there we go. Alright, now we really we just need one more. I can replace this. Please, one more um Scorpio form, please. Please. Okay. Got it. Oh my god. Oh no. Why is it offering me this in this situation? That's such a shame. What are the odds of me finding a Scorpio form later? Because this is insane. I kind of feel like I have to take it. If I'm going for the best build possible, I kind of have to take it. Now I really want to get rid of this. Too many, too many uh, keys to the scorpion. I only need two. So now it's going to cost me an extra resting spot as well. I'm going to do it. I'm going for the high roll. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have another chest as well. I guess this is the play. Man. I was so excited about the first key and then I found a better one. And the form in the same one. That's, that was so unfortunate. And I was looking for Lacrima too. I wasn't really looking for the trade. Two attack. Yep. But that one mana key is just so so crazy. One Scorpio form, please, please. It'd be the best deck I have. It would absolutely be the best deck. Well, except for a Gray's deck, but like, the, the best non-gray deck that I have. Oh wow. Yeah, Aquarius form is broken apparently, and it is. I can tell, so I'm gonna take it. This thing is crazy. This is like. Absolutely absurd. I don't even know why they would. This is the best card in the game, I think, that I've seen. What? Why does this game do this sometimes? It's just like randomly there's a card that's just actually broken. And this is not even close to balance. This is like way above the power level curve. Which, I mean, I, I'm fine with it. It's just, it's kind of a rare card to find. It's just. Again, I, I'm totally fine with it. I'm just. It makes the cards that are bad feel worse. It's probably my only issue with it is that I get more frustrated about the other cards that are not as good as that. Like the other purple cards. Like even if this was two mana, I would still say it's broken. 
Okay, it would be like, actually at two mana it would be balanced. At one, it's kind of absurd. I can remove the attack up for heal. Scorpio form. Oh, we're cooking now. This is definitely the best. This might be the best deck I have, actually. This might surpass Gray's deck, actually. I need to remove for sure. Then we can... Should I remove a key? <laughs> I feel like it's too much mana. There's almost no way I need more. No, I should remove one. Yeah, I think it's correct. I have too many two mana cards. And normal attacks are probably better because they can come in clutch. I think I remove a key. I already have two. The card itself is not that good at two mana. I'd rather have a normal attack. And I really need Lacrima though. That's the one thing. That minus 13 was so brutal. Plus two attack. Yeah, our deck is really good. I just think the skill tree needs... Yeah, I definitely need more Lacrima, and then we're in a good spot. This Aquarius farm is completely absurd. If I didn't have the Aquarius farm, I would say it's not the best deck I have. But now, now that we do have it... Pretty sure it is. And I have two two copies of the chain as well, so it's a really beautiful spot here. Alright, so let's go for So do we have a normal attack? Nope. Also, yeah, more normal attacks means Gemini form is more more useful. Let's go for max max damage potential, and then hopefully it's dead next turn. It is. Okay, cool. Very easy boss fight. I'm feeling really good about this run. Hopefully the last zone just has a shit ton of Lacrima, and then I need a few events that give me Lacrima. I need I need extra abilities too. Those events have been really bad for me. Ooh, 23 is nice. Yeah, I need better events. Need more abilities. Okay. What should I do here? Well, this is happening. Mm, eh, okay, duration of debuffs is nothing, right? Yep. So this tree is now... Okay, this is good. I'm not going to lie. This is strong, but... Do we have anything that has base crit chance other than... 10%. It's not that it's not that good. Like it's not worth a 40. So this is either a roll. I don't think I want to move towards another. I mean this is such a strong chain. I could leave this on the field on the board, but this is also No, it's too expensive. I'd probably roll. So enchanting like a key here wouldn't be the worst. Enchanting this wouldn't be the worst because if it's like duration up, it would be good. If it's even if it's power up, it would be good. I think I'd probably enchant the key first, reduce the cost. But I also want lacrima. That's the problem. I'm gonna try enchantment. Okay, stun plus 15% is not bad at all. But I would have probably talked to Labby over that. Yeah, I don't think it's a significant enough in increase. I mean, it, it kind of is. That's why I never go for enchantments. It's just too random. You might as well just take the consistent good reward from Labby. Or even removing a card, but I'm at 15 right now. I Yeah, maybe should have removed. I don't know. In, in, in case there's a card I really want, but I don't know. Dodge. Uh, attack up, attack up. So much damage. 23.
Wow, my damage effort is ridiculous because Aquarius forms five attack buffs is nonsense. Stacking all the attack buffs. Okay, this path is not looking too good. Should I try the 35% chance to disrupt? I think it's more... more interesting to potentially stun it. Didn't happen. So I really want to dodge some damage here. Yeah, I guess we're taking elites just for Lacrima alone, honestly. It's worth it. I'm strong enough to take hard fights. And this is certainly a hard fight. What the hell? Hmm. Could roll for an AoE. It's probably the best play I have. And then double dodge. And then hopefully survive the onslaught of damage from the bird. I can probably just kill it though with the... Again, the 5 damage... 5 attack up is just too much. No dodge. Should be able to kill this pretty easily. Oh, it didn't even do it. It's lethal. So that's 45. Yeah, it's lethal. So clean. Eh. Yeah, that's tempting, but I don't, I don't want I don't want the extra card. Also, it's not that good. Eh, it's okay. But I don't, I don't want to take a card unless it's like really insane. Yeah, it's got to be like an enchanted card or something. I don't know, what would I take? I mean, like an Aquarius form, basically. Something like really baseline strong. Like the two attack, I was not strong enough. I really don't even mind having two normal attacks since I have that one card that can use one. And those normal attacks can come in really clutch in, in uh, some situations with the magic shield or whatever it's called. Nope. Not taking that. As much as I want the chest, I also don't really want it because I want more Lacrima, so let's go to Elite's fight. Alright, this is gonna work out, thankfully. So much damage. I probably do reroll the tree, right? Eh. I mean, that is a heal. It's not AoE, though. So, never mind. If it was AoE, I would consider it a little bit more. Okay, we hit a campfire. Probably means more enchantments at this point. I think we're satisfied with where the deck's at. It's either I talk to Labby for the... Black I think I'm rolling, right? Let me see. How much crit chance again? We have this crit boost. We have this crit boost. We have 10% chance here. Otherwise, just raw attack buff. Yeah, it's not worth it. Probably... I'm probably just enchanting Aquarius form or something. But I also want events, that's true. Maybe I just don't go to the lobby. Additional ability, it's too random though. I'd rather take the consider. Alright, let's use this maze fruit. Okay, that's... yeah, that's a good node. Alright, now we can potentially take some crit, crit stuff. Completely block, break through enemy guard. Okay, these are bad. Yeah, these are not good. Okay, now we have like 
Yeah, I guess I'll break through this just to open three. I'd probably go for enchantments at this point. Okay, there's an event that was perfect then. All right, we keep going for enchantments. There's four, please. Buff lasts longer? Well, that was... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Two attack up. What's the total? That's like, that's basically six attack over the course of three turns. This is five attack. But the buff lasting longer is maybe more relevant. I don't think it is. No, this is better. That was a good upgrade. Two elites versus an event. Oof. Man, that's hard. But I think the event has to take the, the priority here. Additional abilities can really make this build broken. Oh my god! Oh, oh wow. Okay, this is definitely the best tech. Holy shit. That was such a huge payoff there. Matt, that was the best thing I could have gotten by far. This is the best deck I've ever built. Uh, actually, this surpasses Grace deck, I think. Ah, shame. Not good. Is what it is. Come on. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's kind of good. I don't know if I'm replacing the normal decks. I would gladly play this. This, this is absurd. With a buff. Wow, oh, this is like actually broken. <laughs> I don't know. There's no way I'm not taking it. Now the question is, what what's it replacing? Because I'm kind of happy with... It's got to be a normal attack, right? Unless I don't value this 40% chance to stun. I mean, I like the normal attack though, because it has such high damage output combined with Gemini form, if it does happen, right? Because I have so many attack buffs that the normal attack ends up being so much damage. You could easily argue I should get rid of Keto Line. It, it's probably correct at this point. I think I do value both the normal attacks. I don't, really, I don't even want to spend two mana on this at this point. This deck is too strong. Uh, no, yeah. Yeah, I want Lucy to be like dishing out consistent damage with one mana cards. I think it's correct. Replacing a two mana card with another two mana card. That makes more sense to me. That was a good, uh, good node here. That fuel was crazy. I'm going to run fuel on every run. All right, that's not happening. Just a little bit unfortunate. The skill tree is not that good now. I mean, actually it was, yeah, eh, it's pretty good. But it just didn't really expand that that much. And there's no more node. Yeah, there's no more nodes that I want. We ended up on a good uh, additional ability stuff. A bit additional skills though. Okay, let's finish this up. Incredible, four turn seven, <laughs> seven attack up. What the hell? So insane. I'm just gonna crack this, might as well. Here we go. And the crit boost. This is insane, actually. Finding that crit boost on Magic Chain is so crazy. That will amplify my damage by a lot, too. Yeah, no, this is so good. It's such a good deck. I'm so happy I took that, um... That AoE attack as well, the, um, the Sag Sagittarius form. Now Lucy has like two AoE attacks. It's so crazy. It's such a perfect deck. It's, it's wonderful. All right. Normal attack? Yep. I'm going to go for this. Four turn block grants plus two per minus 2% two redraw. <laughs> But I don't really need to redraw because this deck is so consistent already. All I have to do is just play whatever ends up in my hand. Every single card is good. Every single card. Almost. Okay, there are maybe like two. Like, if I draw a normal attack randomly, it's not that good. But Like here, I'm going to redraw probably. 
There we go. Yeah, I think it's just dead, right? Goodbye. Wonderful. So good. So good. If only, like, I had one last note. Actually, we could get it. We have 50. I can go for 20, and then hopefully you find a 30. That's good. And we did. Wow. Well, holy shit, this deck is insane. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed. Fantastic. Took me this long to get... Actually, it's not that long, I feel like. It took me this long to find a deck that's, like, truly broken. I think this is it. Now, there's definitely better than this. We're not... We're not at the pinnacle of Lucy builds, because you can get Aquarius form. You can get the... Well, this looks trash, but I don't know. Maybe it's good. You can get the Aquarius form chain, and that goes hard, I'm sure. I think. I don't even know what the other card is, but... Wait, I didn't, like, accidentally delete that deck, right? <laughs> um, okay, no. I replaced it. I, I was like, wait, maybe it's, like... It's, maybe it didn't work. Kind of got scared there. Look at this. How, like, every single card is good. Except, for, okay. Like, the Sag... Uh, what is this? The Taurus? Is that the buff? Wait. Yeah, Taurus form... It's not the best. Like, this is probably the weakest card in my deck, outside of normal attacks. You could also argue Virgo is also replaceable. So these two are probably replaceable somewhat. The rest is super solid. Like maybe I would have, yeah, I would maybe, I mean, this is probably good enough because it's enchanted. This could be a crit chance and I would probably be happier. Either way, so much fun. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Can't wait to play this in like the, the last mode. What is it called? The boss rush, Grand Clash. And then maybe a few Labyrinth Depths, but probably just Grand, Grand Clash. It's like a super boss rush. You just fight boss, 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 boss. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.